Hey, what's up? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about GBA for iOS 2.0, a free Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color emulator available to non jailbroken devices. GBA for iOS was made by a young, handsome looking man named Riley. And the best part was you did not need to jailbreak your iDevice, you could download the app over the air. The initial release was buggy, but did the job of enjoying your younger years of playing Game Boy Advance games. But now, that has all changed. The developer, Riley, has decided that he would completely rewrite the emulator and make it flawless, beautiful, and extravagant. And this is what he did with GBA for iOS 2.0, which is now in beta and being tested by a select few, and I am one of those few. Riley could only offer this beta to 40 people, due to Apple's restrictions, so he set up a contest to find the best testers by requiring to write a classic style essay explaining why they were suited for the testing, and hundreds of people entered but only 40 were chosen, and of those 40, I was chosen. And of those 40, 5 were chosen to be press beta testers that responded directly to Riley, and of those 5 that were chosen, I was chosen. So now, I know what you're thinking. Operation iDroid, you're so cool. Thank you, thank you, I know. Please, thank you, no applause. But all jokes aside, it's time for me to let you in on this development of this groundbreaking application that will rekindle your memories and fire for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance games that you love. You'll now be able to play all those games on the road whenever you want, and you don't have to be jailbroken. So for you guys out there that don't like to jailbreak your eye device, you're fine. So let's get started. Now I will reiterate, GBA for iOS 2.0 is only available for iOS 7 and above. The prior version of GBA for iOS will still be available for iOS 6, but 2.0 will be available for iOS 7 and above, so I recommend that you update. Anyways, the screen you're looking at right now is the screen that you get when you open the application. And as you can see, it is very nice, divided into three sections, all, where it shows all the games in the emulator, GBA and GBC, Game Boy Advanced or Game Boy Color, and clicking on them shows you the ROMs for each one respectively. Anyways, on the top right hand corner you see a little magnifying glass and that sends you to the in-app browser so that you can go ahead and download your ROMs. On the left there's a small gear and that is the settings, so when you click on that it will take you to the settings. There are a lot of amazing settings, so I'll take it from the top starting with frame skip. Frame skip allows you to improve the performance of your games by skipping frames and making the game run at a better speed, but in turn at the loss of frames. I do recommend that you keep frame skip at auto because on iOS 7, this emulator will run at 100% on any device. Next we'll go into general. We have mix audio and vibrate on button press, both amazing settings. Mix audio allows you to Mix the audio playing in the background with the game's actual audio. So as you just saw, or well, heard, mixing audio does exactly what it says. It mixes the audio and at that it does it smoothly. On to the next setting is vibrate on button press and this is an extremely great feature. Riley definitely hit this one right on the head. What it does is that when you click a button it re you receive haptic feedback and what that is is that the eye device slightly vibrates when you press a button. And now it could have gone bad because he could have put too much of a vibration or he could have put too little of a vibration but he got it right on the money and it's a perfect amount of vibration. And if you don't like it, you can turn it off, but I personally do like it and I have it on. And now on to saving. Autosave can either be turned on or off. And what it does is that it creates a save state when you exit a ROM, you load a save state, or the application crashes. And this is meant to use as a backup. I recommend that you just use regular save states to save your game and not the autosave function. And now on to one of my personal favorite settings. GBA controller skins. So the skin that you're looking at right now is the default skin that comes with the emulator 
And the reason I like skins so much is because you can customize them and you can basically make any skin that you like as long as the button mappings are correct. So with these skins you can make your emulator unique and your gaming experience much better because I personally prefer to play in portrait and when I have a nice looking skin it just makes everything much better. Anyways right now skins can be added to GBA for iOS through the interactive menu. You can have a portrait skin and you can have a landscape skin. So right now you're looking at a variety of different skins that I personally prefer to use but these are all dependent on you and you guys can put whichever skin you like. Anyways another feature that was recently added to GBA for iOS 2.0 is control opacity and basically what you can do is that you can lower the settings of the landscape controls that is the best one to do. You can do it in portrait too but I recommend in landscape so you can lower the transparency of the controls and you can see more of the screen when playing in landscape and when I play in landscape I personally prefer to play with zero opacity because I already know where the controls are and I can just use the whole screen. Now we move on to my favorite skin a custom made Operation iDroid GBA for iOS 2.0 skin and it is just beautiful you're looking at it right now I mean it's a great shade of green colors are black bottom right Operation iDroid avatar and it's just marvelous shout out to my friend Tyler fellow GBA for iOS beta tester went ahead and made that skin for me on request it was a very nice guy and he does take requests for skins him and my and my friend mythical have their own website called gbaskins.com and they take requests for skins so if you want to have your own custom made skin you should definitely take it up with them anyways the next feature in GBA for iOS 2.0 I want to look into is the menu the menu has completely been redesigned in iOS 7 and has some new stuff that maybe you didn't see in GBA for iOS prior to 2.0. So when you click on the menu option, this menu will come up. And we have a couple of different choices here. Return to menu, save state, load state, cheat codes, and sustain button. Sustain button, basically what it does is that when you click a button, it will sustain it. And you will just continue to move on as if you were holding that button down. Cheat codes, I'm sure you guys all know what cheat codes are. A lot of you guys asked for that and Riley put it in. I myself am not a fan of cheat codes, but it's just not my cup of tea. And as always, save states and load states, very good features in any emulator, so that's great to have there. And finally, we head over to the last two features, which are control opacity and Dropbox Sync. As I mentioned earlier, control opacity lowers the transparency of the controls for certain skins. The only skin that is supported when you officially get GBA for iOS 2.0 is the default landscape skin. Dropbox Sync loads your saves and save states to Dropbox where you can then download them again if you use GBA for iOS 2.0 on another device. As well as if you uninstall GBA for iOS 2.0. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please leave a like and subscribe. But anyways, quickly, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank you all for subscribing, especially you guys, my subscribers. I mean, I would not have gotten my hands on this beta. I would not have qualified to have been a beta tester if it wasn't for you guys. The only reason that I, that I was able to be a beta tester was because of my channel, because my subscribers, because I have access to telling you guys everything you need to know about GBA for iOS 2.0. So I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys and because of you guys I've been able to get this GBA for iOS 2.0 beta and because of you guys I have also been invited to another development team which I will soon reveal to you guys in a later time. Anyways, make sure that you subscribe because as soon as GBA for iOS 2.0 comes out in October I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know, how to get games, how to properly apply cheat codes, how to properly get the skins that you like and all the tips and tricks you need to make your GBA for iOS 2.0 gaming experience the best possible. Again, thank you all. I'm very grateful to each and every one of you. Bye.